Hi, welcome to my Linux Mint machine. We're now working on our Mint White Dark Orange Shallow version we've just put online. And we, I just wanted to change to the icon theme Evo Pop and Evo Pop icon theme. And I was looking at my Mint Y choices and there is Mint Y Dark Alloy, which is going to be gray, not suitable, Mint Y Arc. Let's do it this one, that's easier to see. Mint white arc. So this blue and this blue, mm, not good. Mint white arch is also blue. It's rather compatible. It's a little bit lighter. And mint white uh, faba is orange. Uh, orange, I'm saying. It's pink. Fire is orange. Lightning is yeah, fire. Is orange is lightning is also a little bit orange. Orange yellow. Blue color, maybe this one is not so bad as a color. Okay. And then we have um, all kind of variations as you can see. Paper, the paper color is a little bit like that. Doesn't match with it. So a lot of colors that can be used. Polo is also maybe compatible with it. But if you really say, <coughs> no, I do want to have the same color as Evo Pop then you will have to run a script so let's run a script for one more time to explain you how evil pop is going to be the color of our theme the evil pop color will be used for our theme that's better and then um, you'll see it's quite easy we go to the net we go to the net which is here i'll just move it around a lot of things are open, but well, I'll do like this. I'll put one here. It's not following. Come on, follow me to this screen. So this is the Mint Y Colora theme. We are now looking up the second one. We're now looking for um, inside the folder themes. So they are 30, I think, 30 variations of Mint Y theme you can download already. But it's uh, one level up. You have to go. So this is the folder level and here you see what you should do. You just read all of it, look what the themes look like and you can zoom in in detail. If it's to your liking, you can download it. If in our case we should make a new one, our own color, then we're gonna follow the installation procedure and we're gonna copy the elements we are going to need right mouse click open in terminal we're gonna say run me this install me this already installed not surprised then you're gonna git clone so you're gonna copy everything that's on the linux mint so the source this is the getting of the source then we're getting the scripts we need to change the score the source that's that and then they say to us look copy paste the scripts inside the mint white colora theme to the folder mint white theme okay so mint white colora has scripts yes they do four scripts one two three four if they're in the future there is a five well copy the five also copy desktop mint white theme and then you should put it and this level so right mouse click paste the theme the, the scripts are going to look for all the things inside source so you should put it here and nowhere else if we want another color we should say what color it is so it's going to be this kind of color and we're going to use sudo apt install gpic for it let's move this to the other screen now we take a swatch, the yellow one for instance, and we're gonna move our cursor on top of this icon here. That's the best icon. And then press spacebar. And what is it called? Boston Blue. I have it already here, some for the arc uh, creation, arc Evo Pop creation. So now I'm gonna create a mint white Evo Pop. This is the color, copy to the clipboard. Hashtags should be omitted, but that's for later. That's 
now display there we have here some explanations never put a hashtag in front of the color if copy pasting on jpeg if you're going to figure out the color via via inkscape we don't want the ffs at the end the two last ones you always should have six letters or numbers so no longer no 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 shorter and then you have two colors control v so the hashtag should go and always take just one color since I am using only one icon theme actually always the dark version and uh, you, so you can make two kind of colors a little bit darker green blue I don't know how to call the color of Evo Pop but a little bit a variation of, of the dark color and the light color okay it's not intended to have a red and an orange but <laughs> in effect it's possible all the colors in the folder will change okay let's run it and read what it says then so basically our, cho our choice has made only thing we do now is just press run one run two run three run four done okay it's that easy point slash one tap change color all colors in the folder source are still original green ones from GitHub. Change your color to replace the green online with tools. Blah, blah, blah. Changing, wait for it. Now it's done. Then you press dot dot slash two tab. Enter. Done. Dot slash three tab. Enter. Password. Enter. Everything is going to be installed. Everything was installed. And now he's going to make the, the, follow his script and he's going to write the CSS as you can see. And now he's going to make PNGs. Let's quickly look at it and then pause the movie. The machine is working and it's making the evil pop colors, which is great. Pausing the movie until it finishes. And we're back. As you can see, run script, num script number four, he says. Everything has been updated, updated, built, built, and so on. So next up, if we just run the three, now we're gonna press dot slash four. And then we have to be creative. For me, in this case, I don't have to be creative. So I'm gonna make a mint Y to accommodate the evil pop uh, icon. So I'm gonna call it evil pop, otherwise I'll know, know it. And that's it. So what happens now? The scripts will make folders. It's gonna is is telling what it'll do. Rename the folders and the content also inside of Evil Pop. If you made a mistake, delete the folders and run the script again. Okay. Fine. So now let's go and select and see what the result is. We go to our theme manager. Lot of themes he has to read so this is evil pop scrolling all the way down mint white dark evil pop sorry i'm only showing you the mint white dark version loving the dark version and mint white dark evil pop so this kind of color this is what we get these little little accents everywhere will be applied as well here and here so that's um, that's the result and that's how you should do it i do see that evil pop has still some icons missing um i'm gonna make it uh, gonna add it in the script for github so let's see let's move this here and this uh, github here there is also the icons from evil pop I'll change the code similar to what I've changed uh, it here. Control find paper and one more. This one. I'm gonna change the code as well so it will inherit the icons from Surfin. And as a matter of education, I'll do it now manually, but for one time that's okay, but if you have to do it again and again and again it's not 
I'm using anymore. So we're working on Evo Pop. Question is where is Evo Pop installed? And I don't see it here, so it will be probably here. So this is Evo Pop, the index team display. What I'm gonna do is add surfing to the list. Save. Voila. Done. And this the problem from the missing icons. Here's the missing icon. Here's the missing icon and so on. Everything will be fixed. And let's have a look at the, the, the switch. So we need to switch. It's open here already. We have to switch between that one and Evo Pop and that one. And what we'll see then that it's going to use icons from Surfen and all the missing icons that are not in Evo Pop are now covered by the, the Surfen icon team. So I believe that improves things a little bit and uh, we'll leave it at that. So this is the installation of MintY Evo Pop and this is how we did it. It's quite easy. Enjoy yourself with making a beautiful desktop.